While we've added a lot of new features to the OnSong 2023 update, we've also gone back and improved on certain things in OnSong. And one of the great new changes we've made is with annotations. So let's jump in. Right now we have a sticky note, and as you can see, it looks like it normally does. Um, however, as soon as we tap on that sticky note, we're gonna get a dialogue that says there's some new ways to interact with gestures. So for instance, we can select our annotations just by tapping on them. And once they're selected, we can move them around the screen with just one finger. We can also manipulate the annotation. For instance, we can rotate or scale that annotation, and we can always move it with two fingers. To edit that sticky note or any annotation, we can double tap on it to open up the editor that goes along with it. We can also tap and hold on the annotation to bring up a context menu with lots of different actions and even some new ones. And lastly, if we have a sticky note that has actions assigned to it, we can always double tap with two fingers to open up the editor if the regular one finger gesture is performing an action. So let's take a look at how we're gonna select sticky notes. I just tap on it and you can see that it's selected. The selection will remain for a little bit and if I don't do anything, it'll go away. You can see that the screen dims and a little outline shows around the sticky note. If I tap on it to select it, I can then move it around the screen. Or I can tap with two fingers just to rotate or scale the sticky note where I want to put it. It's just like that. Now, in previous versions of OnSong, I would have to select the sticky note and then move it. But now, if we move it slow enough, we can just start moving the sticky note. But if we're swiping through our song a little faster, the sticky note should stay in place. All right, so, so far, so good. Now I wanna show you some new features of OnSong, like the context menu. Here we have our sticky note. If I press and hold on the sticky note, a new context menu shows up. Here we can edit, format, and we have some new features that we'll go over in just a bit. I'm gonna tap on edit. This will bring up the standard note editor where I can make my changes as usual. One of the new things we've added is the ability to text align and bold or italicize our font. So now I have Helvetica font that's right aligned. I can also double tap on that sticky note to bring that back up and set things back the way they were. Another new feature of OnSong's annotation system is that context menu again. I can come in here and tap on format. Here I can format the sticky note without ever opening the editor and see what the results look like immediately. I can also tap and hold, and there's a new feature called Pin. Now, sticky notes have always moved along with the song as you scroll, kind of like they're attached to the piece of paper. If I tap on Pin, I can now pin that sticky note to the song. Now, this screen's gonna come up and say that the way that that sticky note's been applied is a little bit different, so we might have seen it move, but that's okay. We could still take it and move the sticky note where we want, and then, as you can see, it's going to stay put as I scroll my song. Now OnSong has a couple of different ways to pin. One is on the sheet, as we normally have had in the past. One is on the song, which means it stays put even if we scroll. And we can also pin it to the set or the whole viewer. So no matter what I'm looking at, whether it's a set or a different uh, book, uh, as I scroll through my songs in that collection, the sticky note will also remain there. Another big feature request is the ability to copy and paste sticky notes but we've taken that a step further with the save to library action. If I tap on that, I can now give my sticky note a name. Just like this. And now I can open up my annotations menu and choose a new sticky note from the annotations library. And there we have our sample annotation. I can tap on it and as you can see, it just added it back onto my screen and I can make changes to that one separately from the other annotation. This is truly a great way to work if you just need to make a baseline annotation and use it in different places, but customize it as needed. 
And of course, we can come into our context menu and delete. So as you can see, we've made a lot of great changes to Sticky Notes and just trying to modernize how you interface with those on an iPad. And of course, all this also works on your Mac as well. Um, the only difference is instead of tap and hold, you would do something like double click and click. Now let's take another look at a new annotation we've added, text annotations. So while sticky notes are great for a lot of things, the text is confined to that square. And sure, you can change the shape of the sticky note and change the background color to be transparent, but a text annotation just works really well. And I wanna show you that now. We're gonna come in here, open up our annotations menu, and down at the bottom, you can see we now have text. I'm gonna tap text, and now we can type our text, what we want to type. Let's just type, hello world, and hit done. Now you can see that that annotation was edited there for a second. I can tap on hello world, it becomes selected, and I can move it around the screen just as I would a regular annotation as well. But one of the cool new features of OnSong is something called inline editing. This means I can just tap on that annotation, tap again, and now my keyboard comes up and I can make some changes directly to that annotation, just like this. There we go. Now, since I already have that selected, I can do other things with it too. It might be a little bit harder, but I can also move it around and scale that text just like I would a sticky note. And just like a sticky note, I can tap and hold to access my context menu and there I can format my text. For instance, I can make it red, change the font, change how that font looks, write a line, and of course change all these other aspects as well, like the shadow on that text, whatever we need to do. Another neat feature is I could take that and actually rotate it a full 90 degrees. This might be good if you want to take that annotation and put it alongside the margin of your song, like that. As you can see, text annotations can be really useful and they scale to fit whatever text you type in them. So you can make them any size you want and you can give them background colors, move them around the screen, scale them, delete them, do whatever you want, and you can add them to the new annotations library. So I hope that gives you a taste of some of the new powerful ways that you can use annotations in OnSong.